Why was artificial meat created? Artificial meat was created to sustain the environment. On average, it takes seven times the amount of plant matter to make animal meat. Plus, there is way more greenhouse gases emitted from the cow. This means for a quarter pounder at McDonald's, it would take about 1.75 pounds of plants to make enough beef for that burger. Although the market for beef is huge, in order to make a sustainable planet and keep eating meat, we may have to eat artificial meat to sustain a healthy diet in our population. How is meat artificially reproduced? Our bodies use lots of energy to provide an environment where our cells can flourish. Tissues are submerged in hormones, minerals, salts, fuel, and signaling molecules. Without these important factors, your cells will get very sick very quickly. It is very difficult to recreate this environment because of tough calculations, such as the proper amount of growth factors. A new kind of stem cell has been discovered called the adipose stem cell, which is the closest cell that would need to be incorporated into meat. The medium that is needed to help the stem cells grow and reproduce to an amount that can be edible is very expensive. The hurdles in the way of artificial meat are large and plentiful, but they can be overcome. Does artificial meat taste like real meat? Currently, artificial meat is basically muscle tissues grown from stem cells. A real piece of meat is much more complicated because its muscle fibers have assimilated into a coherent tissue buildup through use. Blood and fat are a couple more factors that contribute to the taste, appearance, and texture of a real piece of meat. Scientists believe that if they can somehow artificially exercise an artificial piece of meat to the same standard that a real piece of meat is exercised to, they might be able to replicate the taste of a real piece of meat. A couple scientists have said that they might be able to artificially exercise artificial meat by sending electrical impulses through the muscle tissue. This is exactly how our muscles get exercised, electrical impulses from the brain. Is artificial meat nutritious? Artificial meat is not nutritious to the development that it has been engineered today. It is possible, however, to feed the cells proteins and other nutrients, so theoretically they could make this meat healthier than regular meat by adding nutrients that regular meat doesn't usually have. This meat could become the healthiest type of meat in the world. The said nutrients they would add are added by making a protein shake that has microscopic pieces and they bathe the cells from the meat in this and let them absorb the nutrients. What is the cost of artificial meat? The medium that is needed to make the stem cells grow costs $250 per half liter. The company that sells the medium states that at least 9 liters is needed to reproduce enough stem cells to do something with it. That price doesn't include all the other costs of growth factors that the cells also need to grow. If you wanted to buy a piece of artificial meat right now, it would cost you about 250,000 euros about 351,473 Canadian dollars. Will vegetarians eat artificial meat? Some vegetarians are saying they will eat artificial meat due to the fact that they disagree with animal slaughter and therefore since the meat is not slaughtered in any way, it is okay for them to eat. On the other hand, other vegetarians believe that meat is not their favorite food and won't eat it because it's still meat. A local vegetarian says she wouldn't eat it because it just seems unnatural. So it is possible that vegetarians won't eat artificial meat because it isn't natural. Does the general population agree with artificial meat? In our classroom, there is a dead tie one-to-one -one for and against artificial meat. Although there are people who disagree with artificial meat, it is possible that if people saw and tasted what artificial meat looked like and tasted like, they would change their vote. But... The people that said they agree with artificial meat can change if they saw and tasted artificial meat also. As for outside of the classroom, the answer is unknown. This is so because very few people actually know about artificial meat, and without the product perfected into exercise, nutritious, and good tasting meat, an accurate survey or study cannot be conducted. Artificial meat could eventually turn out to be a part of everyone's everyday life, but there is a long way until artificial meat is released to the public. Will artificial meat be in supermarkets soon? It is possible, but it isn't looking very bright. This is so because artificial meat costs far too much for the average person to even consider, and even the wealthy would consider a hamburger-sized steak a large investment. Another key factor is the taste. 
Scientists haven't came up with a way to exercise artificial meat, and as long as that stays a mystery, artificial meat will never make it to the shelves of a supermarket. Looking on the bright side, if artificial meat is successfully created and reproduced, the slaughter of livestock will decrease immensely, and vegetarians have an alternative from real livestock that possesses all the qualities of real meat. What is our opinion on artificial meat? We think that it is a great idea and it will revolutionize the meat industry to make it better than it is today. Studies say that at our current pace of population growth in combination with beef demand, our livestock projections will not meet the international beef demand, ultimately running out of beef. Beef is a large part of our lives and without beef, our lives would change immensely and we would have to change our eating habits forever. If artificial meat does happen to make it to the shelves of a supermarket, we would be large consumers of it and encourage others to eat it too. Imagine if livestock was completely wiped out. There would be no such thing as natural meat, and we think that if this happened, scientists all over the world would be trying to engineer artificial meat. Why not create artificial meat now, instead of being forced to do it in the future when all the planet's livestock is gone? Artificial meat may sound and look gross, but it could be one step to securing our planet's future.